This example here is pretty similar to the other ones, except that it takes place in a porous cup. So I've got a clay porous cup, nickel, nickel two nitrate, aluminum, and aluminum nitrate. All right, so what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have a, um, essentially I'll have a larger beaker, okay? This is my larger beaker here, okay? There we go. And then inside my larger beaker, I'm going to have a porous cup, all right? And so the porous cup, it, it has holes in it that allows ions to migrate between the porous cup and the larger beaker. So just like my previous example, I'm gonna list everything that's present. Nickel solid, nickel two nitrate, which means that I'm gonna have uh, nickel ions. I'm gonna have nitrate ions. Okay. I'm gonna have aluminum and then I'm gonna have aluminum ions and I will have nitrate ions as well and those are gonna be mixed in with my aluminum. Okay, so the nitrates will also be mixed in with the aluminum. The other thing I'm gonna have, if it's aqueous, I definitely have water. Okay, just like before, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the top left-hand side and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look for my strongest oxidizing agent present here. So. If I go from the top down and I look for my strongest oxidizing agent, uh, I would find likely that my nickel 2 positive is my strongest oxidizing agent. Okay. And that my aluminum is going to be my strongest reducing agent. Okay, so these two, strongest oxidizing agent, strongest reducing agent. So I'm going to keep these in my separate half cells. Okay, so a half cell here and a half cell here, all right? It doesn't matter which one, where you put them, they just have to be separate, okay? So I'm just gonna assume that my uh, nickel two positive is in here, right? So I'm gonna say that my, this right here is gonna be my nickel nitrate solution. And again, if it's a nickel nitrate solution, that means that I have nickel ions and I have nitrate ions. Okay, and what electrode am I going to put in there? Well, I don't want anything, any reaction happening inside this beaker. Remember, I want my reaction happening over the two half cells. So I've got to put something in this beaker that won't react with my nickel and my nitrate. And I guess that makes sense that I should only just put the nickel, right? So I'm going to use a nickel electrode there because nickel electrodes won't react with nickel ion. So that right there is my nickel electrode. Okay, so in the other, in the porous cup, I'm obviously going to put the other solution, right? So this right here in my porous cup is going to be my aluminum nitrate solution. So this will be aluminum ions and nitrate ions. Okay, so aluminum nitrate solution dissociates into aluminum ions and nitrate ions. And again, I don't want a reaction happening in here. I want a reaction over the two half cells so that my electrons can transfer through a wire. And uh, so in this porous cup, I'm going to put an aluminum electrode. Okay. So again, this is very similar to before. So uh, of course I'm gonna put a wire here, a voltmeter, and then a wire there. Okay. So uh, why don't I go ahead and I'll do my strongest, uh, my half reduction and half oxidation. So I'll start with my half reduction reaction just below here. So my half reduction, right, is going to be at nickel two positive, plus two electrons, forming nickel solid. Reduction is gaining electrons, right? And then I look at my voltage for that and I, I see nickel two positive plus two electrons. Well, that's negative 0 0.26 volts, okay? Half oxidation. Well, uh, half oxidation is gonna be, looks like it's my aluminum. And so my aluminum here is going to release three electrons 
and form aluminum three positive. So my aluminum is going to dissolve and make three positive ions. Okay. And I write my uh, E-naught value there. And so aluminum is uh, going to be positive 1.66 volts. Okay. Now, I have to add these up. This is two electrons. That is three electrons. So I'm going to multiply this one by three and then multiply this one by two. Right? So I'm going to multiply this one by three, multiply this one by two. Recall that the voltages don't change, just the number of electrons. So that means the current is going to change, right? but uh, not the voltage. So we have three nickel okay, plus two aluminums, double arrow, three nickel solid, plus two aluminum, three positive aqueous, and I've kind of uh, infringed upon this territory here, but uh, we're going to add that e, e net value here, okay? Okay, so when I uh, add that together, I get 1.40 volts. It's positive, so again, that's spontaneous, and that's what we want in an electrochemical cell, right? Because we want to produce that electron flow spontaneously, right? Okay, so what we have here is the this aluminum, as we can see here in the oxidation, the aluminum is giving up electrons, and it is forming aluminum three positive ions. And the electrons are going through the wire, through the wire here, onto this electrode. And where are these electrons getting picked up? Well, again, the nickel 2 positive is going to pick them up, and it's going to form nickel solid. And that means that this one right here is going to grow because it's going to form nickel solid on it. Okay? So this electrode is going to grow in mass, but this one, if it's giving off aluminum, well, that means that it is going to decrease in mass. Okay, so let me identify my anode and cathode and ox. So oxidation, well, oxidation was the aluminum, right? We see aluminum's losing electrons, so it's oxidation. That means that this one right here is my anode. And I assign negative to it. Okay. That means this electrode right there, that's your cathode, because that's where reduction is taking place. Reduction is a gain in electrons, so these nickel ions are picking up electrons and forming solid nickel. So that one right there is going to be positive. Well, we have yet to look at um, we've yet to look at what the where the ions are migrating. So the positive ions can't build up in here. What they're going to do is they're actually going to, as they form, they are going to move. Um, into this side right here, right? They're going to be attracted to this side, and the nickel, the nitrate is going to be attracted into this side. So we have migration going this way and migration going this way, right? Okay, so what are our um, observations here? Well, um, our observations are going to be at the anode we're going to see that the aluminum electrode will corrode, right? which means that it's going to dissolve to produce aluminum three positive ions. And at the cathode, we are going to see the nickel electrode grow in mass as nickel deposits on it. Remember, the nickel ions are picking up the, these electrons and forming nickel solid according to this reduction reaction. The other thing we're going to see too is, if I'm not mistaken, I believe nickel 2 positive ions have a greenish color and if they are getting used up then this right here, this half cell is going to reduce in green color so it's not going to be as green anymore because those nickel ions are getting used up. Aluminum ions have no color to them, nor does nitrate, so we're good with that. There's no color change here.